corridor. Doctor, come quick. It's Pops, he's in some kind of trance. Hello, Pots. Nice day for it, isn't it? You. I'm not leaving here. Pots. Pots, can you hear me? I don't think you can, Harris. I'm not even sure if Pots is alive anymore. Don't be ridiculous. Pots, it's Harris. You remember? How very interesting. A formless, motionless life form with a mind and will. That's very impressive. Doctor, what's going on? What has happened to Parts? The creature has corrupted his mind somehow and taken form of his physical being. But seeing as Potts is not technically alive, he doesn't exist. Right. But why are we doomed to stay in this place? Because you know too much. You must be destroyed. Why, Potts? Why must we be destroyed? It is... necessary. Sorry, Potts, I'm afraid we don't understand. I am no longer the man you referred to as Potts. That man no longer exists. I am... Empty. I see. You're a Norton, a shapeless nothingness. A shadow. Of a group of parasites that exist on the far side of the moon. You must have come into contact with the astronaut, infected his body, and used the suit as some sort of travelling vehicle. And now, the body's grown old, and you require a new body, so you go after Potts. Potts is the first person you come into contact with. And now you're using him to communicate with us. But why do you attack us? Why can't you just go in peace? It's a good question. Can you give us a good answer? I... I am trying to leave this place. But it is... difficult. You remain alive. You know too much. You must be destroyed. Doctor, he cannot concentrate on all three of us at the same time. If you distract him, I shall creep up behind him. Uh, uh, listen, uh, Potts, or whatever you are. Just out of matter of interest. The shifting thing. How do you do it? I've never seen you come across a life form in the capacity such as yours. So how do you do it? What's your secret? Our form is habitable because of the moon's background. But on here, our corporeal form is less to concentrate. Light passes straight through us. Mm, that old trick, eh? Passes by the by, an illusional optical trick. It is no trick. Look out, Leela! Ah! Your pathetic tricks are inadvisable. I can sense your every move. Doctor, he could not have detected me. I moved silently. I have a feeling that these creatures' intuitive insights are far more sharper than that of a human's, Leela. Oh well. At least you tried. You think you can escape, but you cannot. Look, I understand the situation that you're in, believe me. Stranded on a planet that you don't know? All you want to do is get up back into space. I can understand that. But why would you possibly want to kill us? We've done no harm to you. You are deceitful. You are untrustworthy. You must die. You will be destroyed, and I will return to the outskirts of space. You have no chance. Doctor, suggesting we 
back away quietly? Yes. That might be the best solution. Just be careful to mind your eyes. Bye bye. <sighs> Quick thinking, Doctor. Yes. But it's not going to be able to hold him off for long. We need to get to work. We have all the equipment we need in this room. But how are we going to stop it with no defences and no power and no plan? Well, you heard it. It only wants one thing, and that's to go around flying around the outskirts of space. But it doesn't know how to get back up there. So, I suggest we give it a helping hand. Well, don't just stand around. We've got a lot to do, and very little time to do it. There. That should do it. What does that do? Nothing. Oh, great. Well, nothing yet. But it will do once it starts working properly. There's just one problem. We need a power back charge. Well, the only power source that we've got that's strong enough is downstairs in the generator room. We'd have to connect it up to the generator. With enough power to store it, all we have to do is target it at the NT and fire. And will the empty be destroyed? No, just repelled back into space. The only question is how are we going to lure it down in the first place? You leave that part to me. Harris, I want you to take the device and go down to the generator room with Leela. Once you've connected up to the generator, wait for me. Leela, you go with him and wait for me. I hope you know what you're doing, Doctor. Knock, knock. Who's there? No one. It's the Invisible Man. You cannot escape, Doctor. Right. We just need to make the link up from the Doctor's device to the main generator. And we can get started. Cup's complete. Switch on, Harris, switch on! Uh, Harris? Yes, Doctor? Switch off. Well, I'd say that worked out just according to plan, don't you? But, Doctor, I don't quite understand. What did your device do? Well, I've sent the creature onto a little detour of the outskirts of space. There's no data or coordinates where he is. So, if he does not know where he is, he cannot find his way back. Exactly. <laughs> and that's your power problem sorted, Harris. Thank you, Doctor. I'm very grateful for all of your help. Oh, don't mention it. But I think it was high time we were off. Come on, Leela. But I thought you said... Never mind. Nah. Never mind.